So what you are looking at now is a turmeric farm. So these uh, plants, uh, those are turmeric. So usually back in uh, March, so this is uh, the month of July, towards the end of uh, March, we have planted uh, tiny pieces of root in the ground and then it comes out from the ground and becomes a turmeric plant. So you see there are like plenty of uh, turmeric plants in here and then on the other side I will show you ginger because uh, turmeric and ginger are a bit alike uh, both are roots if you have seen the roots and then what you have here is ginger ginger plants so both are planted at the same time around end March usually it takes about uh, seven eight months for the plant to grow enough uh, roots and then later on I will show you in a few months probably how the harvest is like so mostly this is uh, the way they farm in Sri Lanka uh, so all these uh, coconut uh, the or the coconut branches I would say are laid through just after they Put the ginger on the ground in order to protect uh, the wheat grass you see there's a bit of wheat coming through right uh, so this is a very basic uh, weed control mechanism so in most cases uh, you don't need any pesticides or any sort of a bad chemical for ginger and turmeric they just uh, grow out like this so this area this like almost of an acre of uh, ginger and turmeric planted so the harvest uh, we can see later on when we do the harvesting how much yield it will take so this is uh, this one other thing so this is the Sri Lankan uh, ginger so unlike uh, the ginger that you have seen mostly in supermarkets so if you are living in a western country Singapore, Asian countries. So most of the time you will have ginger which is a bit thicker and it's uh, bigger in size but the taste is not that strong. But the special thing about Sri Lankan ginger it's not that thick so it's about uh, the size of a finger of a person but it'll grow in like uh, punches. So it'll be a bit like this, a bit like this and then mostly uh, each plant would yield at least half a kilo but this variety is super strong uh, if you try to eat a bit of uh, ginger outright it will be super strong but this is uh, the best ginger variety that you can find in the world because the other one is mild and you have to put a lot of ginger to get the same amount of uh, ginger gingerliness right uh, out so mostly in Sri Lanka people use this as a medicine or they put it on uh, their cup of teas so that is about uh, ginger going back to turmeric so pretty much almost all the curries will have uh, ginger powder in it so this is like a very basic necessity in uh, the Sri Lankan kitchen as well as the most parts of this uh, region and then uh, this is considered uh, one of the best uh, antioxidants as well as uh, anti-cancer from what I've heard uh, medicinal things that you can find so both ginger and turmeric are good so if you get a chance try to use them and then further away uh, from that uh, ginger plant plants there are a bit of uh, sweet uh, potatoes growing as well so this is uh, a pretty good uh, farm I would say it's uh, clean the air is clean there aren't anyone around here just surrounded by nature so if you get a chance to come to Sri Lanka try visiting one of these farms 
where you can experience uh, the real life as well as real ways of uh, planting and growing things thank you very much for watching my videos